Hey ladies and gents, this is Linda Paycheck 777 and today I'm coming at you with part two of our crocheted applique series and this video I'm going to be showing you how to do the very easy simple heart. Okay, so I'm going to move my sign out of the way. I'm going to show you a few hearts again here. We're going to be learning this cute little heart. For these two I used uh, some variegated um, crochet thread. I think it's really pretty. Um, but for the sake of the video, and this is a size 5, but I'm going to use a size 3 crochet thread just so it's a little bit easier to see and a plain color. So, um, you know, it might be a little bit harder on uh, video to use a variegated color to kind of show you the steps. But real easy. I think you'll like it. Now these um, are actually made with a size D crochet hook. I do have a... Um, one here that's made with the size E crochet hook that I'm going to be showing you right now. Okay, so I've got my yarn here. Here's another little one. Cute. Size E right there. Okay, so first thing we're going to be doing. Now if you're a beginner, I had uh, video one showing you all the stitches, but I'll kind of try and go over them again here. So first off, you got to make your little slip notch. Okay, so again, your short end goes over your long end and your long end comes right through the little knot, okay? And then you pull it tight by pulling on the long end. All right? So let's get our size E hook right through that little slip knot there. Um, the first thing we're gonna do, let me get myself all comfortable here with my thread. Um, the first of this stitch is we're going to chain four, okay? So we're just gonna, remember you're gonna yarn over here for a beginner, you yarn over and you twist your hook, you grab the thread and pull it through the knot, okay? Again, yarn over, twist your hook, pull the thread and pull it through the knot, okay? So there's two, there's three, and there's four, okay? Now all the rest of the stitches we're going to be doing in this very first chain we made that's closest to the knot, okay? Everything goes through that chain, okay? So the first uh, stitch we're gonna be doing three triple crochets and I will have the pattern down below in the description bar, okay? So three triple crochets. So again, if you're a beginner, remember you yarn over twice, okay? Come down to that first little chain there, get your hook through and then you yarn over and twist and grab that thread. Okay, you pull it up, you've got four uh, loops on the hook. You yarn over and draw through two. You yarn over, draw through two. You yarn over and draw through two. Okay, so we're going to be doing that two more times. Yarn over twice, back through that same first chain. Grab your thread, pull it through. All right, let me get that out of the way. Okay, you yarn over and draw through two. Yarn over, draw through two. Yarn over, draw through two. Okay, we're going to be doing that one more time. So we have three triple crochets here. Okay, I'm going to do it one more time here. Okay, yarn over, draw through two. Yarn over, draw through two. Yarn over, draw through two. Okay, from this point, we're going to be doing three double crochets. Okay, again, still in that same chain. So double crochet, you yarn over once. Slip it through that first little knot there, that first little chain, and then you're yarning over and you're twisting and grabbing your yarn and pulling it through. You have three loops on the hook, okay? You yarn over and draw through two, yarn over, draw through two, all right? We're going to be doing that again. Yarn over once, come down into that same chain, yarn over, twist, grab your thread and pull it through, yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two. Okay, we're going to do that one more time. All right through that same little knot. I keep on to call it a knot, it's a chain. Yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two. Okay, now from here we're going to chain one, so you're just going to chain one, okay? And then we're going to go back to a triple crochet, just one triple crochet, okay? Yarn over twice, go in through that loop, twist, grab your thread, pull it up. Yarn over, draw through two. Yarn over, draw through two. Yarn over, draw through two. At this point, we're kind of working. You can see we've got half a heart. I know it's upside down, but we're kind of working on the point, okay? So we're going to chain one, all right? And from here, we're just going to kind of repeat the process. So remember, we did three triple crochets, three double crochets, and a triple crochet. Now we're going to turn it and do it in reverse. So now we're going to do three double crochets, all right? And here we go. 
Yarn over, draw through two, still in the same knot. Now, if you can, you notice our short ends kind of hanging here. As we work this side of the heart, try and keep your thread kind of close, laying close to the heart here. So as you're doing this side, you'll kind of tie in that short end, okay? Basically, you're going to be hiding that short end of the, the string, so you, then you won't have to tie it in later. So three double crochets, as I said. Let me back up. So yarn over. Go through the loop and just come around that that loop, that chain, and um, come around your short end there, okay? If you can. If not, you can tie it all in later. So draw through two, draw through two. Yarn over again. You're going to come through that, kind of keeping your short end with that, okay? Draw through two, draw through two. Yarn over again, same thing. Draw through two. That short end's going to want to pop up, kind of hold it down there. Draw through two. Now we're going to do three triple crochets. Okay, so yarn over twice. Draw through two, kind of come through both those threads there. See, as we're coming through both those threads, we're kind of tying in that short end is what I'm trying to say. I hope that wasn't confusing. Draw through two. Draw through two. And again, yarn over. Bring it up. Draw through two draw through two, draw through two. And one more time, yarn over twice, bring it through, draw through two, draw through two, draw through two. And remember when we started, we chained three on that other side, we're gonna chain three again over here. It's just all in reverse. Chain one, chain two, chain three. Now we wanna make a slip stitch. And for those of you beginnings, uh, beginners, a slip stitch, because I don't think I explained that in my first video. I can't remember, I might have, but um, basically we're going to do a slip stitch. So we're going to take this um, hook and we're gonna insert it right into that chain again, right into that center that we've been working through the whole time. And you're just gonna bring it through and you're gonna yarn over, twist and grab it, that. And then you're just gonna take that loop that's on your hook and you're gonna twist grab it with your hook and twist it and draw it through again okay so does that make sense let me show you again one more time okay basically and go through that loop and you're going to yarn over and draw that thread and you're just going to pull that thread right through the loop that's on your hook well maybe if i don't mess it up one more time i just wanted to show you a third time <laughs> Pull it up and then take that and just kind of grab it and pull it through the loop that's already on your hook. Okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut off our yarn there. Now, um, I'll come back to that in a minute. And then you're going to just take this and put the sh through the loop and draw it nice and tight. So now you have a little heart. Now the one chain that we worked through on the other side, the short stitch that we worked through on that half of the heart, it's already tied in, so you can just cut that off. But now we have to tie in this little loop, okay, or this little string here. We want to hide that edge. You don't want to just cut that off. Okay, the other one's already tied in, but this one isn't. So um, you can use the same hook or a different hook. It doesn't matter. What is the easiest is if you flip your heart over, okay, and see all these little all these little like long strings right here, that's the ends of our doubles and triple crochets. So if you just take your hook through about, just kind of weave it underneath those long threads, through about three or four of them, okay? And then grab your um, edge of that string and just kind of take it through and kind of weave it through those little pieces. That's kind of, you know, kind of sewing it in, I guess. And then you take and you cut it now, okay? And stretch it all back out, and it kind of hides both those ends. And now we have a little heart, okay? Nice and easy, nice and easy. And like I said, I'll put the pattern down below. I will put the link to where I found this, if I can find it again, where I actually found this pattern. This was the one and only pattern that I found that was super easy and without working this magic circle thing. Um, and I'll put that down below too. It's the same exact pattern, but you know, I want to give credit to the person where I learned it from. Um, and you know, once you get going on these, I've timed myself. Once you get this pattern down, I mean, I'm doing a heart in like two, three minutes tops, real quick and easy to work. So, um, you know, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be glad to help you as best I can. 
Until next time, our next applique, I thank you for sharing your time with me, and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye.